Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, July the 14th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Quick look there at our satellite image, and we do have some clouds over the southeastern U.S. and Alabama. Uh, sort of spotty clouds this morning, and we do have some showers still uh, occurring. The uh, surface map this morning features uh, a front draped across the central U.S. with a large high-pressure system still off to our northeast. In the 500 millibar uh, flow, uh, we see a large ridge stretching all the way from the central Rockies all the way across the southeastern U.S. At the surface, uh, temperatures in the lower portion primarily of the 70s this morning. We do note some uh, of those uh, fog uh, notes down there, but uh, no widespread fog advisories in effect. Radar showing a few showers across the southeastern U.S., uh, across parts of uh, West Central and Northwest Alabama, as well as uh, Southwest Georgia. Watch warning map still uh, somewhat cluttered. We do have some dense fog advisories, the gray areas there in parts of uh, Nebraska and up across parts of uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. The orange uh, across the Mid-South area and into uh, parts of West Central Alabama are uh, heat advisories, as we see also along the West Coast. And then uh, some green areas there in the southwest are uh, flash flood advisories. There's a closer look at the heat advisory over central uh, and uh, north Alabama. So, uh, it covers areas like uh, Florence, Hamilton, Jasper, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Clanton, Montgomery, down to Troy, uh, Eufaula, those areas. QPF-wise, we're looking at uh, rainfall on the order of the next five days through Thursday morning of about two inches. And while everybody won't get that because of the nature of showers, I think two inches looks like a pretty good value. The um, SPC guys have a slight risk over the extreme northern part of North Dakota with a couple of marginal risk areas outlined over parts of New York and Pennsylvania as well as Illinois and uh, Missouri. For day one, for day two, we have marginal risks over parts of New England and southern New York, as well as over parts of Colorado and uh, uh, Nebraska. And then for day three, uh, the uh, eastern Great Lakes area has a marginal risk, as, as does uh, parts of Wyoming. And the tropics, wow, the tropics have become much quieter. There's the ghost of Beryl uh, as it moves uh, uh, across the open Atlantic northwest of Bermuda and expect it to dissipate as it moves over colder water. All right, the 06 EGFS model run this morning, and there's our uh, surface map for today, and we expect to see uh, showers uh, likely to be fairly numerous. One of the reasons for that is precipitable water values remain rather high. You can see the orange values uh, two inches and over. The uh, upper pattern on Sunday uh, keeps that uh, basically ridge stretching all the way from the southern Rockies all the way across the southeastern U.S., so no change in the humid humidity, the humid air mass. So uh, we stay basically in uh, the chances for showers. We do note uh, that on Monday, the uh, GFS is pulling the ridge back to the uh, west a little bit. So a slight drop in uh, height values over the southeastern U.S. But even on Monday, it looks like showers are likely to be fairly numerous. As you can see, precipital water values there are very high. The... Uh, Troughiness over the eastern U.S. becomes a lot more noticeable by Tuesday as we begin to get under northwesterly flow, and that pushes some drier air down into Kentucky and parts of Tennessee on Tuesday. But as that trough continues to develop and the ridge moves back to the west on Wednesday, we see that that uh, drier air moves into the northern half of Alabama. I think by Wednesday we could be out of the showers. Uh, now, will we pull showers back or keep an isolated chance, potentially. But with this precipital water value, we could be very dry. And, uh, and indication, the indication at the surface map there, you can see that the pre precipitation all well to our south. The idea of the troughiness stays with us on Thursday. Uh, and once again, that keeps the uh, drier air in place across the northern half of the state of Alabama. 
by Friday. Uh, we're noting a nice trough coming in across the Great Lakes that is actually influencing and, and reinforcing the trough. That could also mean a bit of a front uh, coming into our area. Uh, so maybe some uh, small chances uh, of um, the possibility of showers. But again, I think uh, with precipital water values down, that would only be just small chances. And that trough stays with us on Saturday, a week from today. And so we keep small chances of showers in the forecast. Looking out into voodoo country, and I, I think uh, most everybody's going to be happy with this uh, view of if the GFS uh, verifies with this uh, uh, set of forecasts. But uh, there's Monday the uh, 23rd, and uh, GFS hinting at the ridge coming back into the southeastern U.S. And, uh, of course, that's not good, but the uh, GFS goes very bullish by the 26th on this idea of a trough over the eastern part of the country and keeps it that way as we head out to the 28th and also keeps it out through the 30th of July. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I uh, expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, always check back on the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I hope that you have a great day. Please be weather aware. Don't become a lightning statistic. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.